Hi everybody. Today is February the 2nd, 2010, right? So today's Groundhog's Day. I live in Canada. Don't ask me what the ass is a groundhog. I feel it's a mongoose that overeat. But apparently now it's Groundhog Day and I ain't know if the groundhog see his shadow. I ain't know if he ain't see his shadow. But they claim we're getting spring, spring in six weeks. So we're going to see what happened, right? Good. You know, it's funny because... As you start to do more blogs, right, you realize that a lot of more topics come up in your day that you could blog about on the week because, like, so much things happen that are just, like, cunt You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to just tra tra trace back and tell you, like, my week events in no particular order. Um, Saturday, I went to Steenie's birthday party and I didn't get in because the people then broke down the door, they run inside, police lock it off, and like, I've never seen so much police at one dance in my life. Like, I am born in Canada, and I'm frightened with, I don't have my immigration documents that I don't have. I'm afraid, you know, because the police is out there, big guns standing up, pulls off and thing. I'm like, a lie. But apparently, Steenie is supposed to be doing something to reconcile the scenario, so you know. And I love my reggae dances. I don't care. Nobody tells me I'm going to reggae dance till I die. I will dodge the bullets. I will do what I have to do. But I'm going to my reggae dance. Because I remember the first day I ever heard dance hall reggae. And I'm sorry, Carnell. I have to do this. My brother and I were like seven, eight years old. And our neighbor, Carnell, just started coming to school with us. And he just came from Jamaica. Pant leg, roll up. The man's like eight, you know, seven, eight. And he comes down the street and he's... Singing, he's like, in Jamaica, there's a party, pity pity for you. And we're like, what is that? And he's like, yeah, man, the Shaba, you know. And he's like, going into it, and he's rocking. Some of them, and he's chanting the lyrics. And we're like, yo, like, this is bad. You know, so, like, reggae is deep to me. Plus, reggae dances are very entertaining to me. Because, like, Bajans, reggae, and dance are different than how Jamaicans reggae and dance. And I'm not saying one is better or one is worse. They're just different. Like, Jamaican girls come to the dance to walk out Panagiawa. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, and they act out every song. Like, it doesn't matter what song it is, they will act it out. Quick, 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 quick. I'm not ready for the video yet. Cut in a face, girl, not ready. <laughs> Two color face, girl, not ready. And everything, oh, every lyric. That's what I say, girl, I'm not ready. And they're like singing every lyric and it's like they're just animated behind the whole thing you know and i like that because it's like i like music like that Beijing girls now <laughs> Beijing girls drop it a little different like they know the words of the song trust me because the minivan's beating it regular but when they come to dance their 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 pose off thing is a little different Beijing girls will come to the dance and muggle and walk around right just to scope out which guys are the rich guys and which guys are saying what right so they go now and they stand up. So when the same song gwe, 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 is playing, you're going to see them standing up like this. But when you step to the back of them, their body cheek is like gwe, 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 to the rhythm. And the thing is, men like, oh, God, blaya, you, you see she there, boy, look, I want to talk with she, you know. And the thing is now, this is where Beijing girls game is like step in because they'd be like, a man will come over now and be like, man, yeah, you know, um, you look good as cut, man. I, I bring this Hennessy here for you. I want you to have some. She'd be like, Wee! What you gonna do with that here? Uh, you wanna see my four friends here? We look hungry? You better try everybody on my wet bottle, yeah. So, shame out, first of all, because the Beijing girl will shame you. Then, now the man walking away with a poor glass of Hennessy in his hand, making all the rest of the guys sitting down like, hey, hey. So then they go now and buy the big bottle and come and pull. So, you know what I mean? Like, Beijing girls come to walk up on a gal too, but they come in to get free drinks, eh? Bring drinks, somebody going to pay. Bring drinks, somebody going to pay. Like, they want their drink on first. So, anyways, I just go for, like, a lot of the variety and the differences and the dance and ting and ting and ting. Which leads me into the topic that I had an issue with Sunday. I went to the West Indian store, which shall remain nameless. And I was picking up some items for my mom, which is a re problem right there because I should not be shopping. And... I'm picking up items, picking up items, picking up items, and I see something that my mom might like. So I said, okay, you know what? I am going to pick this up for mom and bring it home. And so I'm talking to my mom on the phone, actually, when I'm in the line. So the man that is ringing me up, I guess he owns the store. He's Jamaican. 
There's a Trinidadian woman and a Trinidadian man in the line with me. So I'm like, yeah, my man, yo, you never believe what I see out here. They got Akis, yo. And like, da 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 da. So they're like, what did you don't call that? I'm like, Akis. They're like, no, nah, man, the nim the nim skin up. I'm like, okay. Then the Trinidadian and the Trinidadian woman and man behind me are like, no, nah, the, the, the Chana, ten, this and that, and yo, backwards. And so I'm like, what do you rassle on a Sunday? These people could come and tell me I backwards. How I get fucking backwards? Why I backwards is because I should not be giving you my cunt of money after I work 200 hours a week for you to come and tell me I backwards. That's what make me backwards. Second of all, all of we got the fucking name wrong. The thing called Mama Silla or some cunt name when the Spaniards came out there and fi think they find it and whatever. The name of that fruit is not a get up. It's not a ackee. It's not a chanut. It is nothing so. It is called like Mom Mama Silla or some cunt. I, I, my, yeah, I bitch and I can't pronounce the thing right. But listen, I don't want to be in a man's store and a man telling me I backwards. So then now he telling me, oh, all the small island thing in the man. I'm just angry. I'm like, small island thing? I now come off the phone with my friend Tsunami. From what he tell me, all of the fucking island small. The only place Tsunami afraid of is Rasso or Russia. Tsunami would bury any island. So I don't know how we get small and when I get big. Because we all get drowned at the same pace. And this is what has me vexed. This is what I want to talk about. When I go to Chinatown, you will see anything. It could be a Mandarin, Cantonese. You will see all the names of an item listed down. It's raccoon. It called mongoose. It called whatever. They eat it in it. They don't fucking care what it rasso call and they ain't putting down each other. They buying it from one another. My thing is, why should I keep trying to spend my money with people who are going to tell me I backwards and I wrong. Because at the end of the day, we all West Indian. We need to support one another. You understand what I mean? When I go in tea fat and buy Aki's, the man asked me, what is it called? I told him it's called an Aki in Barbados. He said, okay, the Chinese man went and write Aki on the board. A, A, hyphen, key, K-E-Y. <laughs> and the thing is, I had to laugh when he did it, right? But... E, 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 English is the second language, A. And B, at least he's attempting 